Welcome to HYC Insight with myself, Giles Cochran. Now, gold often has a very strong time of the year around the turn of the year. However, sometimes that trend can start early around November time. Now, if inflation expectations keep rising as they currently are, but the Fed keeps stating that it will be patient on rate hikes, then that should mean real yields keep falling. So if the US dollar and real yields both start dropping together, then expect gold to keep lifting higher. Now, here's a seasonal pattern in place for gold right now. The last uh, 53 years, gold's risen 32 times between November the 16th and February the 22nd. Average gain has been uh, just over 5%, and the largest gain was a whopping 80.61%, largest loss 18.02%. Uh, There's never any guarantee the seasonal pattern will repeat again this year, but it is always not helpful to notice these strong seasonal patterns. The main risk to this outlook would be if the Fed respond to rising inflation by bringing forward interest rate hikes. Now, just taking a quick look at gold itself, we can just see here that gold has been breaking out of that sort of long-term trend line and has just sort of found some support around that 1860 region. If price can sort of push above here, then we're looking at a target towards that 1900 region, and we're still expecting dip buyers around 1830 at current prices.